Okay, we're doing a little bit on the sears today. Now that bracket, this is for the clutch. See how that's raised a little? I'll tell you something about that pulley here in a minute. But this is what I got to start with. I just don't cut it out where that mark is, that paint mark. Then I got this, which is not quite as thick. But it's got the same bend, so I'm just gonna weld that in there and um, call good. Just make sure the outside surfaces are flush. Better than not having nothing at all. So, um, yeah, I want to get on to cutting it out of there. Okay, so we got that cut out of there. I'll have to do a little with the grinder to make them fit together good. And then we'll get ready and weld them together. Okay, I'm getting ready to weld that on there. And you can kind of see here that it's not exactly the same thickness. So what I've done, let's see if I can do this without knocking it apart. Okay, so I clamped this straight piece of metal on the top. Just so when it comes across here, it'll kind of help hold them straight. Same as this one here. It's just to line it up. Then I know the top's good and fairly straight. But anyway, I'll weld it. What I'll probably do first is tack weld it. Where are you at? Up here. And then I'll um, probably do a little bit under here. Okay, it's hard to see that probably, but got that piece welded in there. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. I put a blue mark up here. That's about where that bolt was. Um, still got to drill one hole in it. About in the same location that one is. This side's even a little slotted, so I could even do that if necessary. There's the other side of it. Don't look as quite as good on this side, but the metal wasn't as thick either, so it'll be fine. I hope. I gotta get that hole in there, and I want to clean this thing up and get it ready to put in. Okay, there's that thing kind of setting down in there. Here's what I want to show you. If we can get under this muffler. This right here is where the tensioner pulley, the clutch pulley, if you want to call it, fits. See? The way they had this was they had the spacer part of it onto here. I don't know if this is going to show up too much on the video, but if you notice, it makes that belt kind of walk out this way. If you notice, it's out here right past the edge of the belt guard. Okay, now you see how that's stepped out a little bit. So you really don't need all that. Um, let's go out here in the light. Keep my bolt. You don't really need all that distance. Because that puts your space out too far. So you can see here. You can kind of see where the belt had been hitting it at times, right toward the middle. When it's on there like that, see it's out there a good bit. Now what I figured out, that pulley's the right diameter, 3 inches, 3 8 center hole. If I just take a washer and put it right there. Okay, now if I just take that bolt and put through there, if you notice that thing lines up almost exactly where the belt marks are on this here. And it's in quite a bit farther. So I think that's what the problem was. I thought some of this was bent, but I honestly think that's what the problem is. So I think I can put that back together and um, use it that way and be just fine. Now that pulley is unavailable from Sears. The flat idler pulley that you adjust is back in the frame. Now that you can still get it at Sears for $15 plus their shipping. Okay, this is my MTD mower. And if you look, this belt for the drive right here goes to this pulley. Now you're not going to be able to see it, but that pulley and that pulley is almost identical. 
both have a 3 8 insert. Um, this one here, you notice, is pretty much flush at the top. So I think it would work. That pulley would be sitting in there like that. It has that shoulder, which you really don't need. But if you turn it out and just put a longer bolt in it, you know, and then it has that same top piece to it, basically. That pulley is three and a sixteenth diameter, and this is three inch. But I'm not sure what they got this one from. There's a sticker there, but silver streak something you can't really. And it's just got a. This one here has got a 6203-2RS bearing in it. Um, you can see the little dimples there where they've pinched together. It might be a little harder to put this one back together with bolts. You might have to spin it and weld them back together. But you could put a bearing in one of these. You know that bearing that's in that pulley is the same bearing as in the generator starter. Okay, now this, like I say, has that um, extension on the side you really don't need. But when it's sticking out there, there's nothing seems to be in the way to hit it. You can't use the original bolt. But that pulley is supposed to be unavailable. I think I've seen them on eBay for expensive, but, you know... I'll put, the, I'll put the part number up here, what I think this is, what would work. Um, but it's the same pulley, basically, the same 3 8 diameter, 3 inch, or yeah, 3 8 hole in the inside, um, 3 inch diameter, and 5 8 belt it takes, which I think it's 11 16 or 23 30 seconds, they say it is, or whatever. Yeah, I think that would work. I just wanted to show you there what that looked like. Um, you know, that being out like that was way too far. But, oh, turn this in. Seems to line up good. So any 3-inch diameter pulley with a 3 8 hole in the center, um, as long as you had one flat side on it, you could adapt it to work on one of these series.